follow up with customers after a purchase, get them back to your website and show them a pop-up with a promo code. All of that can be done with WebConnect and it takes a single action to enable all of them. Check it out. All right, so now we need to know where to find WebConnect and how do we install it. And to get started, we will go to Tools on the top left and we will click WebConnect over here. As you can see, this page is very simple. It provides a code and it also explains uh, for what you can use WebConnect. Uh, we will click to copy to the clipboard and then just for you to have a look, you can see that this will work for pop-ups, visitor tracking, notifications, and in other words, this will work for automation, web push notifications and pop-ups. So let's see now how we install this code. So I will be using WordPress over here. Uh, doesn't really matter which platform you're using. As long as you can place the code in the head of the page, this will work. In my case, I'll go to Appearance, Theme File Editor, and I will find the head of the page over here, Theme Header. And as you can see, the head starts here and it ends right here. What I will do is place the code right here and then update file. In my case, and for the sake of this video, I already have a pop-up created. There is nothing special about it. I simply set it up to display on exit. And as you saw, I installed the code. So let me try to exit now and it should show. All right. There you go. So it's very simple. Uh, pop-up will be displayed. And if you have more pop-ups created, you don't ever need to install the code again. So this code, just to be clear, will only be added to your website once. And the other scenario here would be that if you have an automation set up, there are a few conditions here that will work with this code as well, which are purchase condition, and you will then be able to track abandoned carts too. So you will trigger this automation with abandoned cart, events or visited URL. All of them will work with the same code. So the installation only happens once. You won't ever have to do it again. And then there is another thing that will work with, with WebConnect, which is web push notifications. This one is a little bit more advanced, but the code is part of the process too. And once you do that for pop-ups or whichever tool you start using first, then the code is already there, you don't need to do it again, and you will only need the service worker, but that's something that you should contact your web developer. And if you need help setting up web push notifications, watch this video. 